Hi guys, today I'm making a video about uh, my new uh, plate carrier. I just bought the Edgylite K19 plate carrier. I did not buy it from the official rate retailer in Israel, but I bought it from an European retailer. So first I will open the box. So I bought the K19 plate carrier in Ranger, Ranger Green, I believe. That's what they call it. So I bought it also included with the Pinsa placard. So the retailer sent me some Edgy Light stickers. So I bought the K19. It's over here. First I will unbox this package. So I'm using this for airsoft. I'm not an uh, operator or something like that. Uh, let me check. So this is the K19 plate carrier version 3. A friend of mine has the version 2. Uh, I saw in some other YouTube videos that the biggest difference um, between the version 3 and the version 2 is that you can change these buckles for buckles I think are these ones, these little small ones. So when you, um, yeah, like on the picture here, when you uh, have your gun at your shoulders, this won't get uh, in the way. Um, yeah, you have some quick release buckles on the, all the sides. So you uh, can remove them very fast if you want to, but for airsoft it's a bit useless. Uh, this comes in handy, handy maybe, so you can remove the plate carrier when you get hot. Both sides, there's velcro, and these are just uh, adjustable straps to make it to fit your own body. And here you can, yeah, it's a little package where you can put in all kinds of stuff. So I also bought some... Um, Plates for this one, so just foam plates because uh, for as of I like it uh, when they don't wait a lot. You can put the inserts on the bottom. And you can uh, make them tight into here. So the other thing I bought is the Pincer placard is one of the newest uh, yeah, magazine holders from Edgelight. They also have the uh, normal uh, Molly placards. And this is the newest version, also in Ranger Green. And this will fit my HK416 magazines, just the normal or uh, regular magazines. Hi guys, it is a few weeks later now and I tested this uh, plate carrier one time on the airsoft field. Um, today I will just show you some things that I attach to my plate carrier and uh, if I like it or not. So first of all I attach the pincer placard. I put some magazines in here, uh, just airsoft magazines. And um, this pincer placard is attached with velcro. As you can see here, it goes from um, the right all the way to the left. And I also used those two hooks to uh, make it more secure. On the left side I have a radio pouch. So when I go on the airsoft field I put my radio in, in here. And I will attach some headphones uh, to hear what uh, the people are saying. On the back side of my plate carrier I uh, attached a Camelback water pouch. It, it is uh, yeah, a large size uh, water bag. And this is a Condor pouch I believe. And the tube goes all the way to the front. 
and it stays uh, stays in here uh, because of the, the these loops. And I can drink whenever I want. For the front pocket, I mostly use it for uh, or my phone or uh, some maps of the field of the day. And on the bottom, I did insert the foam plates. I don't know if you can see it, but I installed some foam plates and there are holes uh, inside of it for a better uh, ventilation. So what do I think of this plate carrier? Uh, for the one time I did use it, I really liked it. Um, is it good for airsoft? Yes, it is, but um, yeah, normally these are for our cups or uh, for in war. So um, yeah, for airsoft, it comes on a high price tag. Um, if you like the brand and you want a good plate carrier and you have a, a lot of fun in airsoft of playing airsoft and you want to go to a plate carrier, it is uh, it's very good. But um, yeah, it is a bit overpriced if you just use it for airsoft. So uh, I will make a video about my other gear, maybe uh, in a few weeks. And then, then I will show you all the gear I use for my assault rifle setup.